This package enables you to create custom roads, as well as connect them into a complex network of intersections, allowing you to trace the shortest path between any two points in the road system. In this video, we'll explore the steps required to go from a completely blank project to the road network you see on screen right now. You'll learn how to manipulate roads using control points, as well as linking them to intersections. At the end, we'll add a navigator to use for pathfinding. First, let's create a new project. After you made sure that you added the package to your assets in the asset store, import it into your project. For that, click on Window, Package Manager, My Assets, and you should find the asset here. Click Download if you haven't downloaded it yet. After that's done, import the files into your project. Next, you probably want to create some kind of ground. With that done, open the Road System Editor window. For that, click Window, Road System Editor. Let's put that down here. To create a new road system, click this button. Now let's move this road system to where we want it to be. The exact position is not that important. This button creates a new road. A default road is just a spline with two control points. Unity's built-in tools work the way you would expect. W for moving, E for rotating, and R allows you to adjust handle lengths. The Rect tool allows you to move control points freely. For that, I would recommend the isometric view. Click Reset Road to start over. To add new points between control points, hold Shift to preview the new location. Now click to add it. In order to extrude the road at the end, hold Ctrl and click. Per default, the new point will copy the normal of the last point. In many cases, this might not be what you want. So for that, copy hit normal will make it so that the new point follows the surface of where you click. In order to delete points, press backspace. Or hit reset road to go back to the start. Pressing X changes between local and global coordinates. If I rotate this point, as you can see, the axes point along it. But if I press X, it is now in global coordinates. This makes it easier to move the point along the X Z plane or rotate around the Y axis. Holding Shift and Control at the same time allows you to place a new point on the same plane as the previous one. Keep in mind that pressing X and going to global space makes it so that you can place points along the X, Z plane. Now that you know how to shape roads, let's create an actual network of roads and intersections. To get started, let's first open the project settings. Go to Road System. For the new road prefab, let's use Road Tooling. For the new intersection prefab, we'll use the four-way intersection. You can also set these by alt-clicking the new road or intersection buttons. With a road system selected in a hierarchy, Let's add a new intersection. Let's add a couple. You can also just drag the prefabs out of the Project Explorer. Let's add a new three-way intersection. Keep in mind that the intersections should be parented to the road system. Pressing Ctrl L or activating the road link tool up here shows you all of the anchor points in the scene. Now let's create a new road. Select one of the anchor points and create a new road. 
you can move intersections around with roads attached to them. Now let's extend the road along the ground. To link up a road to the intersection, change to the road link tool. With the endpoint of the road selected, holding shift allows you to link. As you can see by the tooltip, this will move the endpoint there. If instead you want to extend the road from the endpoint to here, hold control and shift. As you can see, this point is still here. Control click a connected point to disconnect it. Let's add another road. Once you're happy with your road system, hit Construct Graph to generate edges and weights. The cost of each edge is the length of the green spline. For example, this one is about 270 units. If I move this point and update the graph, the length changes to about 320. This can then be used for pathfinding. Now let's add a navigator to a scene. Create a new object and add the road system navigator script to it. For the current road system, use the road system we just created. Now to actually see the line, enable draw navigator debug info. In order to update the line, hit Calculate Waypoints or enable Auto Calculate Navigator. This will automatically update the line whenever the navigator or the goal moves. If your device is slow or if you're developing a mobile game, you will probably want to increase the graph step size. The goal can be set programmatically. This is what your game logic would interact with. This information is only shown in the editor and not the game itself. This is why you will want a line renderer. Let's create a line. This package includes a small navigation line updater script. You will probably want to create your own script because you might not use a line renderer. Uh, you might draw in 2D. This really depends on your situation. But for a small example project, this will work. Now to make the line point upwards, we need to change this to transform Z. Use wall space and rotate it by 90 degrees. This way the local Z vector of the line renderer points upwards so that transform Z works correctly. Let's change the color to something we can easily see. Next, drag the navigator you just created into the line updater. As you can see when we run the game now, we see the line. If you want a more in-depth view into the scripting side of things, there will be a dedicated tutorial in the near future. So subscribe to be notified when it comes out. Depending on when you watch this, it might already have. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section below. If you use this package in one of your projects, I would love to hear about that. Don't forget to leave a review if you find this asset useful or if you have any suggestions.